Good morning, everyone. This is Fist to Your Doom here for week number two of TGS playing up against T Row. And as I'm sure you can tell, this is a postcom. Now you may be wondering, how did you manage to fuck up recording a showdown game? That's pretty impressive. And you see, I usually play with the showdown music on, which people call me unhinged for. And if you're one of those people, fuck you. Pokemon music is good. And uh, I kind of forgot to turn it off while I was playing against him live. And it's louder than my voice. And I can't figure out how to uh, get that to go away. So here I am trying to make the best of it. But let's just hop right into it. We get a tough lead on both sides starting off here. He's Terra Electric on the Latios, so it's tough to tell what kind of item he's going to be. Makes me think he's going to be setup oriented, but it could just be a generic power boost on like a Spec set or a Scarf set or something like that. And I'm Kalkin, I'm Kalkin, and it says that knockoff is like a 70-75% chance to kill if it's no bulk Lottie, which I assume he is, going for the speed tie like I am. And so I sat contemplating for a good little while if it was worth the risk. And from what I saw, Draco never killed. Unless he was like specs or a major boosting item like that. And if he's specs, I don't think he raw Dracos. I think he goes for Psy Shock, trying to catch Selveon or doing a good jump to me. And so we actually both have the balls to stay in turn one. He wins the tie. I live the Draco and I get the roll to knock him out turn one. Turns out the Draco was a roll to kill. If I remember correct, I'm gonna calc it again just for clarity's sake but i think it was in my favor to live let's see pokemon wellspring latios soldu yeah it almost never killed it was a 19 percent chance to oko me so if he had won the tie and gotten the oko like that it would have just been tragic so we end up getting a winning exchange, 100% there. Lottie was more threatening to me than Ogre Pond was to him, because he had methods of revenging it fairly easily when my Lottie counterplay was kind of rough, especially if he started clicking combine. And now Darkrai comes out, and I just assume he's going to click Sludge Bomb to cover for the Sylveon switch, so I stay in and sack. Didn't think it was worth risking, especially when I didn't have Hazard and he actually clicks Dark Pulse. We don't see an item come out. We don't get any real info. So I send in Selveon. And I was gonna hyper voice, gonna hyper voice, gonna hyper voice. And then I got myself super paranoid because I saw that Darkrai learns Thrill Chop still in Paldea decks. So I went for what I thought of as kind of the mid ground play and click Yawn. And I catch the Mammo coming in. And now Memo, it's not something my team really wants to switch into. And it feels like Selveon's fairly expendable here. So I stay in and I click Hyper Voice as he drops a massive Earthquake. Does well over half. I do over half with Hyper Voice, but he is Citrus Berry. And I stay in, get my chip with Hyper Voice as he stays asleep. And then he continues to be asleep as I get the knockout. So I'm up a sack now. Mammo is down. So there's probably not going to be any rocks on my side. And we're just in a rocking position. And here, just to make sure I keep my advantage, I go Metagross on the Sludge Bomb. And so now, Meta's tough. 
because you might have noticed the Alolan Golem is also Terra. So he brought it with the intention of trapping my Metagross. And so here I think he's going to go raw out into it. And so I try making the play and I click Hammer Arm, but it's actually Hands that comes out. Takes a good chunk still, but nowhere near the damage I would have gotten with a Hammer Arm into Alolum. And so now I'm sitting here thinking, oh, he's going to bring it in now, but I'm going to outspeed the Hands and get Chip on that first, and then I'll worry about hitting the Alolan Golem. But I'm a moron. I don't know why I thought I was faster than Hands at minus one. I wasn't. So I get a Psychic Fangs off. I pop the Balloon. Balloon doesn't matter anymore, because he's going to tear out of it. Show my lefties. And I actually devour an Earthquake. Get a good chunk off with Psychic Fangs. Try to pick him off with BP. He hangs on on a sliver. No big deal. And down goes Metagross. Get a free kill with Bundle here. It's not worth him risking switching in hands and getting frozen or something. And then he bolts. I get Selvion in. And then I just sack to Sludge Bomb to make sure that's actually what he locks into if you overpredict it or anything like that. Get in Gouging Fire. And this is where he goes to town. I just click Dance. And then I dance again as he drain punches and does absolutely nothing. And I dance one more time to make sure I outspeed the Scarf Darkrai. Since he drain punched, I figured he wouldn't be able to beat me down. Then I'm Morning Sun up, and I'm Morning Sun up again to make sure I'm at full. And he actually goes for the Parafish with T-Punch here. So I get scared, and I immediately send him to the Shadow Realm. Just gone. And that is the video game. I was calcing here for longer than I probably needed to to make sure I didn't die from sneak into flare blitz recoil, and I never did. And gouging goes down in the process, but pretty handily cleans up that endgame. Gouging fire is him. Terra fire flare blitz just whew, goes ham. But. That will be it for this week. Apologize for the for the post gone, but sometimes I'm fucking stupid. As I'm sure you can tell if you've watched enough of my games. But uh, drop a like if you enjoy it, and maybe next time I'll, I'll not fuck up my recording. Maybe have a real live comm up. But, peace out.